and to share something with you which I think will be very valuable to everyone who's ever had to deal with a dead minor file before. I was presented with this file when I opened it up last time and it was very, very soul-destroying given that I spent five or more days working on this and to find that there's absolutely nothing left, not even my characters, not even my animation and just the scene and nothing else. So. I just wanted to go over this with you what I did to recover the file because this is a pretty disastrous thing and in my experience most people would just give up and try and find a backup that is a few days ago and that's really not much fun given how much work I've done the last day. So what I'd like to show you is an approach that I have um, discovered. Now what happens is that your file, if you save it as an ASCII file, will be saved as a text file. And you should be using incremental backups. And if you don't use incremental backups, this obviously is not going to be very useful for you. But given that you do use an my ASCII file and you are using incremental backups, this should be fine. So normally what happens when you use an incremental backup is you'll have your scenes folder, you'll have the latest scene, this is the scene that got corrupted, and inside incremental saves you'll have a folder with the incremental saves. And you can see that they're more or less the same size. And I've been through them and opened them and I found that, say for example, iteration seven here was fine, but it was very, very old. Had, I mean, had last time I modified it was 10 minutes to two in the afternoon. And the one that I wanted to um, deal with was the one that I'd left just after dinner, which was about, say, version 17. These are the ones I've done this morning. But needless to say, there was some corruption, as you can see, when I opened up version 9, this is what I got. There is no shading, there is nothing. It's just empty wireframe nonsense with rather unfortunate looking characters inside there. So, stands to reason that if they're approximately the same size and they contain really the only difference is uh, more animation, the rigs are the same, the scenes are the same, then we should be able to find some way of finding out where the errors are. I did have a look inside the script editor and it did have a huge string of errors, meaning that the scene is corrupt. And the one later on I discovered, which should have been the telltale one, is this um, weird thing, IND, which in my mind probably means undefined number, which is looks like an error. So what I've done and what I'd recommend you is to find something like this. You've got, um, this is a, something that lawyers use. I'm not saying they use this one in particular, but what lawyers do quite often is that they compare contracts or documents, legal documents, to see if someone's pulling a fast one on them, to see if there's an extra full stop or a comma, or if they've removed something or changed some important wording that wouldn't necessarily be easy to find if you were scanning through a document, but if you compare the two, it will highlight and tell you which ones are different. So what I've done is I've used these two here and I have um, got this first one and I am recording um, the video <laughs> that you're, say hello, <laughs> that's fine. Um, and um, so I've got the first one like that and then I've got the second one that is clearly corrupt, say I think, what did I have here? version 9 and then you can compare the two. Now the idea behind that is that if and when there is a difference it will pick it up and so you can see here in the program again this one is called exam diff I'm sure you can find another free program which does something similar to that and what I simply did was just to scroll down with it and you can see that when there is a difference in there you'll get a highlight and down here it says that that's been changed and you expect things to be changed you don't need to understand Mel to understand that there's a difference between these numbers and these numbers but it doesn't look like a drastic change what I want to see is something which is a drastic change and just going through it just trying to concentrate and I'm trying to look for something which is highlighted in in grey at least for this particular one which means that something's been added or deleted So it'll take a few seconds, but 
we want to see one huge big flash of grey. to concentrate it may have already gone past it but I did find it in my file and when I found that difference what I did was I deleted the two or deleted it from one file and it stopped being corrupt so this is just a question of being able to find it one thing I could potentially do um, I think we've got a search function and the thing that that I remember was that I n I n d and had a hash on it let me have a look again the thing that I saw was this hash I n d well you can just type in whatever the first error that it comes to so here I'm going to have that one there I'm going to find that one and when it does find that I'm pretty sure that that's where the start of the error is going to be. So you don't have to be a male scripter and look here. You can see there's the bit that it's picked up and you can see also here that I've got a bit of code here. It started off with the creation of a, of a node. But I think you can see that there is a, a difference of something in one file in, in version 9 that is not in version set, uh, 7. And the important thing to note is where it finishes. So I've got here um, this line, which is where I want to stop my cutting. And let me find that again. Here. So the last line before I need to do some cutting is that one there. So I'll just remember those two, two lines. Again, I'm not trying to say that you have to be an expert in any kind of scripting to see that, but that's where I need to cut and that's where I need to finish. So all I did was I went in and I got that file, which was number nine, iteration number nine, and opened that with a text editor. So open with WordPad. And then I simply just do a search for this one here. Um, that's probably not going to be as common, but this one here is definitely uh, only going to occur once. So I'll do a, a Control F or whatever you use to edit your text documents with. But there should be one of them, and there it is. So now I just need to select everything up to the point where that started. And if you remember here, we had a thing saying create transform curve one. So I'll just hold down a shift and go upwards. There it is, no, three, no circle, no, keep going up, it's two. circle two is already there so I need to go down a bit circle one. here we go so yeah you have to be careful make sure you don't delete too much but I can see comparing comparing the two there that that's definitely the beginning of that block where things are definitely different so with that selected just delete it and it should look similar I'm similar on both sides, I'm pointing with my fingers. Similar over here and similar over here, and then we can save that one. So, close that one, and then we can go back. So this is uh, version nine, which is a corrupt file, and I can just go back to Maya and reload that one. Don't save it. And hopefully it won't make a liar out of me that when I open this up again, should have a healthy file. You can use this, hopefully this will work for you, but again I can't stress the importance of always saving your files as my asking and always using the iterative backups, so incremental backups as much as you can.
because I don't think I'd want to go through two million lines of code like that and try and find out one single point of error. It's not going to be every single type of code, but now hopefully we'll see. There's my animation back to the way I left it off before, which is really, really good and made me really, really happy when it happened. So I hope that this can help you too. Um, and if there's anything that didn't make any sense, just um, send me a message and I'll see if I can explain it to you. Good luck and hopefully this never happens to you. Bye-bye.